everybody. Welcome to the Wall Doc Way. I'm Jessica and today's video is going to be a look inside the brand new human body unit study. I am so excited for this unit study. Kevin absolutely outdid himself with lifelike and engaging illustrations that help this unit study come to life and we are so excited to do it in our own homeschool. So let's go ahead and look inside. Here we have the table of contents. So this is all of the different things that will be included. There are unit study resources that work well for the entire duration of the unit study. So you have books, games, videos, and hands-on activities. These are all supplemental. You don't have to have anything to complete this unit study. There is some human body sensory play ideas. If you have younger kids, there is Play-Doh mats included for Play-Doh sensory play, as well as a sensory bin idea. And then we start with the first lesson, the introduction to the human body. Now there are a few things that every lesson is gonna have. One of these unit study page is one of them. On the unit study page, there's a supplemental book list. So this is a curated book list that will go along with that topic if you'd like to add more books to your unit. A YouTube playlist, and I've made it easier than ever. You can click to watch, you can copy and paste or scan the QR code. And then a hands-on activity. This hands-on activity is to make an edible cell. There is also a nonfiction reading passage for each of the units. That's why you don't have to have anything additional. And then these are some of those illustrations I was talking about. So there's all these diagrams and illustrations that Kevin's done. And then there's going to be worksheets for kids of all different ages. So this is labeling the human cell. Here we have human cell matching the different types of cells. So you would just label and write down the type of cell that is being described, the different types of tissues. And then at the end of each lesson, there is some sort of puzzle, whether it be a word search, a crossword, a word scramble, or a maze, some kind of logic put in there. We have history of anatomy and anatomist as a lesson so that you're getting not just science, but also history in this unit study. Here's that reading that we were talking about. And I forgot to mention earlier that they all include discussion questions. So you can have some really great conversations with your kids and check for comprehension. The early anatomist studied anatomy with pigs and monkeys. So here is an example of a fetal pig so that you can show your child how close their anatomy is to ours. And then those worksheets. So the option to label it, a timeline for anatomy, history of anatomy, fill in the blank. And then we get into what is an anatomist and a famous anatomist, coloring page, biography page. And then we start with the human body systems. Now each system is set up very similarly. So again, we have that supplemental book list, the YouTube playlist, a hands-on activity. There will be that non-fiction reading passage with discussion questions. There will be one of these pages for each body system where they can write the purpose of this body system, facts about this body system, and illustrate what the body system looks like within the body where it's located. Diagrams that are super helpful, these beautiful things. You can hang these up on the wall, use them as posters. They're absolutely wonderful and lifelike. The option for your kids to either diagram and write what they remember or just copy it. So that could be copy work if they're copying from the poster. And then, like I said, some sort of like review type of page. So we have matching, true and false, fill in the blank. And then a puzzle, word search, mazes, crosswords. And now each of the systems repeats like that, so on and so on. When we get to what I like to call the appendix area, there are three different review worksheets. This one is circling what doesn't belong in that system. This one is a human body true and false review. And this one is taking all of the parts and listing them in the correct system. So a few different levels of review there. And then there's also a review project. So this has all of the different body parts for you to cut out and make one of those life-size 
human body project replicas. And then there are also a few writing projects. There are human body idioms. So you can discuss what an idiom is with your child. The definition is up here. And then they're gonna write what is actually meant with this idiom. And then human body analogies. So again, you can discuss what analogies are and then they're going to finish the analogy listed and then come up with their own analogy. It was my goal to make sure that this human body unit study had something for everybody, all types of learners and all ages of learners. So we have things like Play-Doh mats for the younger kids and the Play-Doh mats come in both boy and girl for each of the body systems. And they also come in varying skin tones as well. There are also body system coloring pages for your younger learner. So there's a boy and a girl for each of the different body systems. So if you're homeschooling your entire family and you wanted to do this unit, you could give these to your younger children. And it wouldn't be a Waldock Way study without games. This particular study includes four principal games within the unit. The first one being organ bingo. There are four organ bingo principal cards as well as the calling cards. So you would pick a calling card and then cover it on your mat. The first player to get three in a row would be the winner. The second game we have is a body system memory or match. So you would lay all the cards out. Players take turns flipping them over. If the system pictured matches the description and the system on the other card, the players would get to keep them. Whoever has the most matches at the end of the game is the winner. The fourth and last game is a human body trivia game. So each player is going to take a turn rolling the dice, moving that many places, and then answering the question in that color. So blue is muscles and bones, yellow is body systems, green is organs, and red is senses, health, and nutrition. So another player would ask them the question, and if they got it correct, they would get to keep it. And the player who has the most cards at the end is the winner.